Welcome back to Juicy Tech YouTube and Podcast. My name is Ario D. Juice, the host of this podcast and YouTube channel. Basically, the podcast is available on everywhere from Apple Podcasts, of course, Google Podcasts, Spotify, um, Amazon. We are doing great, and that was the goal for this year to get all to get the podcast streamed or live on other platforms, and we got this accomplished. So I'm super happy and grateful that this is. Um, this has been accomplished. So I'll leave the link to the podcast down below in this video. I'll leave more information in terms of ways to contact me via LinkedIn, um, IG, whatever. <clears throat> so all the information will be down below of this video. So let's talk about this topic, which I spoke about before, and it's going to be about aging. Now, not just aging, but different, um, I guess, categories, if that makes any sense, from you know your sexuality, your gender, um, you know your, your 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 background, your nationality, skin color, of course, but mainly aging is what I want to get into more out of those things because I've read comments from some of you, I've read some of your emails as well and DMs on IG, and I must say I very much um, I, I'm very grateful that you decide to contact me looking for information. I'm not some Mr. Know It All. I don't have all the answers. But I'm ready to assist as much as possible when it comes to this field, with, with, whether it's coding boot camp information or, you know, software engineering. That's what I went to school for. So I'm just here to assist as much as I can. And I get comments and emails about aging a lot. A lot of people are searching for information online, especially YouTube, where they're trying to find some type of, I guess, What's the word? Some I guess just confirmation from someone else. No, so I'm a 38 year old man, right? I'm 38 years old. I'm married, and um, yeah. So I've gone to coding boot camp. It was a 10 week course. It's a coding boot camp. The school is called Boca Code. It's here in South Florida. It was an in person cohort, which is what I wanted. I didn't want to do the whole Zoom thing. I wanted to be in person. I wanted to meet people and interact with human beings, and I love that. I love networking. I I, f I love meeting new people and just learning as much as I can from others. So that's why I went to. That's why I decided to go to an in-person coding boot camp, and it was a great experience. I do it all over again. All the teachers were awesome. I'm way off topic, but that's how much of a great experience I had in coding boot camp. Was it expensive? Of course it was. It was about fourteen thousand dollars, but to me that's nothing compared to you know college tuition fees like sixty, seventy, and up. That's insane. But it was that much. But I'm way off topic. Aging is what I want to get into. And some of you have been leaving comments or information about, you know, is it too late to join a coding boot camp? Excuse me. I guess I just had lunch. I'm so sorry. So, yeah, some people leave comments about, not comments, but just all type of mem like messages, emails, whatever. Or text, not text messages, but emails about is it too late for them to start or just to transition into the, you know, into the tech field from their cur current field right now. All I'm going to say to you is it's not too late. I've said this before. There, there was a woman. She was a bodybuilder. She she was a, she is a successful person. Super talented, beautiful, and she was a bodybuilder. And she was from that world, which is fitness. And she transitioned into the tech field. She's not trying to. She's in the field already. I believe once you make that leap, once you decide to, you know, like mentally you decide to just... You know, take that risk of trying to get into this field, the tech industry. To me, you're in it. Maybe you're not working in it yet, but you're still involved. So to me, I'm involved because I'm always coding. I'm always practicing projects, networking. I love talking to people, going to conferences, tech events. I love this stuff. I love meeting people. But the point is, she's in the tech industry. She's in that field. And she was in her 50s. Yeah, she was in her 50s. Married woman with, with, with children, like, you know, an adult adult, <laughs> right? And she's still, as a woman too, a minority, right? Because there's not too many women in this field. But as a dark-skinned woman, she was dark-skinned like me. Same same skin complexion, right? Maybe a little lighter, but still. Um, minority, right? Woman, dark-skinned, like, she still took that risk and decided to do it. Right, so if a woman in her 50s, a mother, a wife, a fitness trainer, a talented athlete, right, if she, if she can make that change 
and transition or just or just just do it and not worry about her age and all this stuff i'm not sure why you can't do the same thing right i'm not sure what's stopping you if she's i don't, I don't care if you're 70 i don't care like it's never too late to do this like it's not too late at all right i think this is the best time to do this because things are just changing right i mean tech is just growing so fast automation you know self-driving vehicles it's just changing it's, there's all different versions of smartphones so tech is always changing and they need people involved maybe i've, I've heard layoffs and stuff like that but don't believe the hype people are still hiring companies are still hiring maybe the big tech you know giants are not you know your facebook and netflix but other places are still hiring I, they're hiring right but the thing is you have to be ready meaning you have to keep practicing coding and once the opportunity presents itself because you're ready, you'll, you'll get you'll get the job, right? But my point is, it's not too late. That's my whole argument. The age thing needs to be tossed out the window. Like it's, I mean, from age, your gender, your sexuality, you know, your ethnicity, whatever. All these things could just be tossed out the window because it does, excuse me, so much gas, I'm so sorry. It does not matter. I just had a soda also. Went to, um, I just ordered from um, Uber Eats, so. Burger King just had me an, an, an impossible Whopper. I don't, I don't eat meat, but <laughs> different conversation. But it's just so much gas. But yeah, it was, it was so good. <laughs> but the point is, age, all this aging stuff, aging stuff, should not stop you. If you're watching this, if you're, if you're that person and you're just insecure about whatever it is that you're going through or you're, you know, ex experiencing, just know that it, it, it shouldn't stop you from trying to make that change. I've seen so a 50 year old woman can do it. I mean, she did it. She's not, it's not, she can't do it. She did it. She, she did it. Right. So I'm not sure what's stopping you with your age. It does not matter. I think there needs to be more diversity in this field of tech, more women, more dark skinned people, more, more, more LGBTs, you know, people in, in that group or that community. We need more of that. We need more people who are over 60, 70, whatever, get in. You know, the thing is, if you have the talent and the skills and like, like whatever skills or knowledge you have that can help produce quality service or products, I'm not sure what's stopping you. Get your ass in. Just make that change, you know. But I, I will say this, before spending any money on coding boot camps or college or whatever school that you plan on attending or courses, before you spend your money, teach yourself coding. That means learn the 101s about coding. That means from variables, strings, arrays, loops, if else statements, what is a, a database, API, full stack, back end, front ends, UX, UI, cybersecurity, learn about all these things, what this is. Maybe, maybe you may not even be sure what you wanna do in terms of software engineering because that's a giant umbrella that has different categories. And people seem to not understand that. They, people think software engineering is just one thing. No, no. Nah. You could you could be you could be a, a back end you know dev a front end a full stack you know maybe you want to focus you want to focus on designing UX UI cyber security like you know what do you want to do but maybe not right now you know but the point is I would focus on the fundamentals of coding that to me is like a big deal I will keep preaching this until I'm until un, the grave <laughs> I'll keep preaching this until that time because it's just that serious. Do not spend a dime on coding boot camps or school. Not that not not because they're bad. Of course not. They're not for everybody. But I feel like you should kind of have an idea of what you're getting yourself involved in. And that's from you just sitting down, whatever time you may have, watch some YouTube tutorials. I, I know some some places. If you need some guidance, let me know. Just contact me. I know I have some links, no uh, no affiliate links, anything like that. But I just kind of know what to do to kind of start this journey. If you're learning coding fundamentals because i'm still learning myself i'm not some like you know a senior dev nothing like that i know how to code but the but the point is I'm, I'm preaching that you must very much teach yourself the 101s about coding the fundamentals do that yourself do not allow a boot camp or a school to do that for you that should be your job but again back to the topic aging that should not stop you there that should not stop you okay i've seen a woman that in her 50s she did it. I don't, I'm not sure why you can't do it. You know, maybe it's the money. I don't know what it is exactly. But the, but the point is, don't let your age stop you from trying to make that transition into the tech field. Or your sexuality, your skin color, your nationality, 
it's all good. Come on in and join. Uh, people want to hear from you. If you have any new um, ideas, you know, if you could really help, you know, produce more or just great quality services or products, get in. If your code can just assist any way possible because you have that talent, regardless of your age or whatever, you know, your gender, whatever, get in. You know, really showcase your, your skills. But also network. It's not just coding, coding, coding. It's also soft skills like right here. This is networking. Me speaking to you is networking. Now you kind of know of me, you know, because it's video. But the point is network your butt off. Go meet people at live events. Not live events. Tech events, conferences. Meet people. Maybe they, you may not get a job there, but just start meeting people. Get comfortable and just start asking questions. And really be a part of this community you know, and just show that off. If you can post online, that'll be great. Show your journey. That'll be even better. <laughs> I mean, that'll be even better of you just showcasing your work, your, your everything. You know, what you're like, where you're going, who you, who you met. People love seeing this stuff online. So if that's possible that you can post this stuff online, do it. I'm, I'm just going off topic. I know I'm so sorry, but aging is very much a big deal to a lot of people. Some people are looking to start over their, you know, their careers, but they're too scared to do it. And they feel, they feel good that their age, they're just too old to do it. I'm just really, I hope this video is going to help you confirm that, you know, it does not matter. It really does not matter of your age. You can still make that change if you want and just start making some, you know, um, just, just make that change because you want to. And, and I keep going, I'm saying the same words. Your age should not, you know, affect you from making that choice of trying to learn coding. Coding, I guess, yeah. You know, it should not stop you. Maybe, maybe you don't want to be a coder. Maybe you want to be in sales. Or maybe you want to be in management. You know, like it's not just coding, coding, coding. But tech is just this broad umbrella again. I mean, it doesn't have to be you being a software engineer. But maybe you want to be in sales or management. You know, it, it's so much different things, um, um, categories in tech. But just start. Just start learning. Get involved and just consume as much as you can. Again, the podcast is available. We have a lot of information there. There's a lot of videos on this channel now. I'm going to keep pumping more out and just kind of just get out this word and just, again, just let people know that the, the, the tech industry is still hiring. Maybe some big corporations are not, but you'll be surprised. If you're great in sales, this could be a great start for you. Like, seriously. So much love to you. Hope this video helps. Um, once again, the uh, all information is down below in the box. The podcast link, um, ways to contact me, whatever platform or social media, you know, um, platforms, Every, everything's in that box. So much love. See you on the next video. Catch you on the next episode of the podcast. Have a blessed day. Happy 2023. Let's go. Thanks for watching this video.